Hi everyone, this is Messenger Maria Lane and I have a, an opportunity for an interactive oracle message. I'm not looking directly at the camera, I hope it's not off-putting, it's just that if I do, you get the glare from my glasses and without my glasses I can't really see what's going on. So I'm doing my best. Now how have you been? Um, I feel inspired, I want to share a little metaphor with you. I hope you don't mind. Um, I'll leave the time if you want to skip this to where the message actually starts. But um, I was painting, or well, not painting, I was creating during the week, and I'll show you what I'm up to. Um, this is my latest mandala, so this little piece here will sit on top of this one, like so, and then there'll be another circle around that as well. And as I was watering my orchid the other morning, I didn't realise I dropped a big blob of water on my creation, and I got this little mark here. And I thought, oh, oh no, what am I going to do? Do I have to start again? And I, I just left it. I thought, no, I'll just let time see what inspires me to do. And then last night, all of a sudden, I thought, oh, what I'll try and do is rather than start again, is just get some watercolour paint and just put a variation in there. And hopefully by the time I put my mandala design on top, you won't even see it. So why am I sharing this with you? So I thought, you know, we could take this approach and apply it to our life. I'll just put that back. Um, if you find that something that you're involved in is not quite working, allow some time just to um, let a new solution come to you. And you might need to take a slight detour, as I have to do in that picture. So let your inner guidance um, share with you another course of action. But sometimes you need a little bit of... Um, non-action just leave things as they are go off and think about it allow a solution to come to you and then just go with it and i always find being outdoors walking around the suburbs with little jay um, always gives me inspiration okay so now here we go so our choices this week are mystical magical or enchanting so just allow one of those to come to you and the inspiration I got this week for my message is um, start reverse. So I'm going to start with a letting go card. So let's see if you're drawn to the card that the universe is guiding you to say, it's time, time to let that go. Then I've got a colour healing card and then we've got a John Holland card right at the very end. And I've just threaded these together using my intuition and guidance to create um, a message for you. So today, the first one, which was mystical, we're starting off with a letting go card. This is maintaining boundaries. And the words on the back, I'll, I'll read them to you quickly. Today I will gain a new awareness of those areas where I need healthier boundaries. I will raise my naive assumption that the other person is always right. I will exchange that view for trusting and listening to myself and setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. So what I think that perhaps um, there could be a little bit of people pleasing, that you, you're a very giving person and you like to, to share and perhaps it's to the, um, the detriment of your own well-being. So I think this card here is guiding you to, to have a balanced approach, to, to really stop and reflect and see, you know, is it going to be helping you? Because when you, you help yourself first, I know it sounds a little selfish, but you're actually doing everybody a favour because when you are in balance and in harmony, their energy ripples out, you attract people who are of the same vibrational nature, and um, there is that beautiful harmony. So stop and think, are you overstepping a boundary? Are you giving too much of yourself and it's not equal? Then um, it's time to just stop and create balance okay so your color card is this beautiful one it's azure and it says protect yourself now Inga has got some beautiful meanings to it so I feel that this card has come with the, the letting go card to say it's time to you know protect you because maybe you're, you're allowing too much to infiltrate into your energy system and there's a beautiful guidance here Sorry, I'm slipping to the page. Um, it says here, protection. I ask divine healing light to surround me with love, peace and healing. Please bar any defense energy from entering my space and affecting me. Breathe in the azure ray of light until you feel safe and secure. 
Imagine a, a azure bubble of light surrounding, protecting and making you safe. Do it for yourself and your loved ones wherever possible and they will share the same protection. That's beautiful. And I think now if you follow that guidance, if you start to put out these beautiful boundaries, um, protect yourself with this beautiful blue light, this is going to be the outcome. Triumph. I think that you'll both flow. <laughs> I think you'll find that things just flow a lot smoother for you. And you'll feel a lot happier and you'll have a few of these gorgeous triumphant moments. So that was the mystical. Now let's move on to the um, the popular magical. That seemed to be quite a, um, a choice of many on the Facebook page. So if you were drawn to the magical choice, here it is. It is focusing on peace. So I'm feeling that, you know, without reading the cards, that there's a lot of um, active minds going on at the moment. Maybe you're trying to mould something. Um, that's great. Keep the energy focus going, but it's the type of energy that you're giving it. So today I will focus on a peaceful place rather than a harried one. I will keep moving forward gently, not frantically. I will let go of my need to be anxious and upset and we'll place these feelings with calmness and harmony. Okay, so you know, sometimes when we, we think overthink too much, we're actually blocking the solution from flowing to us because there's not an opportunity just to um to allow those thoughts to arrive. So your colour card, I thought was rather appropriate, is the peach, and it says inhale the breath of life. Now I found myself I have found myself this week sharing a lot of guidance to other people about the importance of deep breathing and um, I do this myself when I feel a little bit angst at work. It just slows everything down, it just gives you perspective. So I think that if your mind is racing and you're you're looking for a little bit of a relief, just do some breathing exercises. Really just inhale as much air as you can, hang on to it and then slowly release. Now here's the little um, Inga message about the peach and her suggestion is rub your hands together then move them slightly apart. Focus on the tingling energy that's moving through your hands. Now imagine the colour peach coming out of your hands. Place your hands on your chest and allow the peach coloured sparks to penetrate your chest and lungs, awakening any stuck energy and releasing stagnation. After a few minutes, hold your hand, right hand above your chest, moving it around in a clockwise direction. Do this for two minutes while focusing on taking slow, deep breaths. Say, I am now able to fully embrace all the wonderful experiences my life has to offer with joy, peace and love. Now, your John Holland card, and I was, is heartache and loss, and I was trying to work out how this feeds through this thread and I'm thinking perhaps your active mind is as a result of some sort of loss um, along your path somewhere and if you follow the guidance that will ease. So rub your hands together, get that peach, inhale deeply and I think you will find that your mind will start to slow and of course there's always my favourite, favourite, favourite is um, embracing the tree, go and talk to a tree, sit near a tree, just admire a beautiful tree and I think that you'll get that beautiful energy exchange from the tree and it'll, I feel, give some healing. Okay, so the last choice we have is enchanting and this was your letting go card and it's staying neutral. Today I refuse to jump into the middle of others' affairs, issues, relationships. I will trust others to work out their own problems, including the ideas and feelings they want to communicate to each other. So I think that, you know, you're probably coming from a place of um, wanting to assist, similar to the um, mystical card, but I think it's time to just, you know, focus on what you want, what you would like to create, and when you do that, you're allowing others to the same luxury, so to speak, and it will give you peace as well. And your colour card was to purify the body, so I think that there's just a lot of, this is the words that are flowing to me, stagnant energy flowing within, and it's probably, well not probably, um, it could possibly be clouding how you respond because things aren't flowing very smoothly. Um, something I've visualised, I'm just about to fall off my chair here, um, 
a little while ago was this beautiful light flowing through the top of my head, right through my body into my feet. This was taught to me at meditation uh, back in tropical North Queensland many years ago. And I like to visualize that from time to time, this beautiful energy flow going through us from the universe and back into the ground. And I'm feeling that, you know, this is what you're being guided to, to get grounded again, to, to allow some new thoughts and to, to reconnect with spirit. And now the suggestion from Inga uh, here is go outside, spend a few minutes looking at and feeling the rays of the sun on your skin. Imagine that bright yellow sunlight now moves through the whole of your digestive system, cleansing your intestines, pancreas and bowels, all of the toxic toxicity and waste materials. See as the density dissolves and your organs become clean and healthy. Pour some water into a yellow glass and put it out into the sunlight for half an hour. Then drink this water while focusing on purifying your body, mind and heart. Well, I love that idea about the glass and the sunshine and you can do the same with moonlight too. It's very powerful and I think your John Holland card today is patience. So I think, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I think, you know, this is a, a, a process that will need to continue on, maybe for life. It's about adopting new ways of thinking and doing and being. And um, that was my choice when I laid out the cards and I can see how that fits beautifully. So thank you so much, Spirit, for <coughs> leading me to this outcome. <coughs> oh, little Jane. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's doing these days anyway unfortunately it's the end of the message so thank you very much again for all the beautiful and loving words um, from my little YouTube community to encourage me to come back and I just thought I'd share with you I've been loving my Kun Yin cards and I've been practicing the fanning technique you know like they do at the casino you, you, you split them and you splice them and you do all these fancy things and it is a skill and it's taken me a while to, to get there but I was practicing and I pulled a, a Kunyin card for myself and I got this beautiful one, Shining Lotus. I won't go into the meaning but, um, but then last night I put all my cards back together and I fanned and I just sat here practicing and I think I went for about 15 minutes because I was just enjoying the flow and the same card came out. So I, I get the message, thank you very much, and it really is about, you know, having to get out of the spiritual closet and share. So I've got the message, I'm back, I said that last week, but I am, and I'll see you again next Friday. Thank you so much for listening, we'll see you then, bye.